tension in your back, neck, and shoulders? By using yoga-style stretching and the beam by Nimbleback, you can help release, relax, and restore tension in your back, neck, and shoulders in just 10 minutes a day. Using your breath and gravity, the beam by Nimbleback can help open up the chest, improve your alignment and posture, while also reducing unpleasant tension. The beam is a simple tool that can be used on the floor, in a chair, or against a wall. So lie back and allow the beam to help calm your body and mind. Release, relax, and restore with the beam by Nimbleback. Release, restore, and relax. And it just takes one of the beams to be able to do that. Whether you choose our firm or our gentle, and we've also got a travel size coming up in a moment, this is going to be what you need to give you what you need, which is better well-being, more flexibility, and of course, opening up all of those airways within your body. Let's bring in Becky Goulet, of course, one of the co-founders of The Beam. Becky, so great to see you, and it's amazing, you know, for people that are watching, how is this going to transform the way we stand and the way we live? Well, I love the theme, Dawn, today about taking care of ourselves, and if you don't take care of your back, then if you've ever suffered from back pain, once your back is out, the rest of you, you can't do anything for your family. You're not gonna be able to function at work. So the beam is a simple way to help take care of your posture, help with alignment, and help relieve that awful tension that we get from hunching over computers or being on our phones too much. And so yeah, hopefully you can demonstrate some of the simple ways that uh, people can use the back, the beam to help take care of their back. Okay, so we've got the choice of the gentle and the firm and they're basically the same material, just one is more dense and literally more firm than the other. So first of all, which yeah. one is right for who? So we find that people are new to stretching, really prefer the gentle beam and people that have a lot more muscle tension or sorry, muscle tissue in their back or more um, weight, they like the firm beam. So the firm beam is like a deep tissue massage. It will really get into those knots in your back. It's going to feel more intense, but the stretches are going to be the same. The gentle is great if you're very sensitive, you don't like a deep tissue massage, you like people to be, you know, more rub your back than really get into those knots, then you'll probably prefer the gentle. But if you do start with the firm and you find it's too firm, you can always put a towel or a blanket over it as well and that will soften it and then remove the towel as you work up to wanting to get into those knots. So Becky, I've got the uh, gentle one and I've put it under kind of my, I guess my lumbar area there. And I'm just doing a little windshield washer and it's interesting because I can actually feel um, on my lower back a, a bit of a massage happening, right? And it's all self-regulated, right? You can go as, as deep or as not deep as you want, but it's, it's really just so simple, um, but making a huge difference already in how my back feels. Yes, and I love doing this one with the firm beam and I put it across my sacrum to get those knots that you get in your glutes. I have bad habits of crossing my legs and I get really tight hips. So if you put it down just under your sacrum and you do those windshield wipers, you're gonna get a stretch through your front and as well get a deep tissue massage through your glutes at the same time. So okay. that's one of my favorite exercises. So now I'm also on the ground and I've taken the firm now and I, and I thought, well, gee, let's, let's go up the spine. So what's this going to do for us? That's going to really help release that tension that you get across your chest. So if you're on a computer a lot, your muscles are pulling everything forward. The stretch you're doing right now is great for helping straighten your posture, release that tension through your neck and shoulders, put everything back in alignment. And you'll find if you even put your hands up in a goalpost position, you might not be able to get your, now lower your elbows to the ground and then drop your wrists towards the floor, slowly backwards above your head the ah, other way. There we go. So we're working so some on people will, Yeah, some people will find they can't get their hands to the ground. They're maybe a couple inches away because they're so tight across the front of their chest. So this will really help release that tension. Yeah, really. And that tension it, could lead to injury. Yeah. So you wanna make sure that you're releasing that tension. It, it really is. I mean, this is one of those exercises that you can absolutely feel that eventually you would get to the point where you maybe increase your mobility, certainly helping the posture. But you know those areas that sometimes you get your spouse to, to, to rub out in the, <laughs> your shoulder blades? Becky, it's like you can be independent and do it yourself. <laughs> 
Yeah, they don't always want to give those massages, do they? So this way you can do it yourself. <laughs> Yeah, and the firm, you know, you really do feel the difference between the firm and the gentle. But again, for anyone that's joining us right now, you know, we've got the travel option that is coming up in just a couple of moments. I know you've got that on your chair, and we're going to show people how they can use this. But I think what's so appealing about this too, Becky, is that you can actually take this wherever you go. So maybe it's that lunch break, you know, that you're going to do on the floor in your office, or maybe it's that moment while the kids are napping, uh, or maybe you're even in the nursery with them, and while they're on the floor playing, you can get down and start using the beam. So we've got the firm and we've got the gentle. And Becky, I think that they're, you know, just hearing you talk about the different exercises, I think there's absolute value in considering getting both, especially at the price we have. Top, top rated, by the way, because you're going to be able to do different things with the different firmness, right? Yeah, and depending on how you're feeling, I some days I really just want to relax and meditate on the gentle beam, and other days I really just want to get in there quick, get into those knots, so I use the firm beam. And on that, we have great videos on our website. So we have 10-minute meditations, 30-minute yoga classes. We just put up some new videos last night on uh, releasing jaw tension and shoulder tension. So depending on where your problem areas are, we have a lot of free videos that can show you using all three of the beams and how they can help you. Yeah, I mean, these are top rated online, Becky. It's again, it's something where you kind of look and you go, really, how is this gonna help me? And it's, you have to kind of try it for yourself it's really to experience simple, the benefits, right? right? How could this possibly work, exactly. So the Just because so the it's benefits... simple doesn't mean it won't work. So yeah. this was really going to help you, again, improve your posture, release tension. You might find you sleep better. You might find you have fewer headaches. So because you can meditate on it, it's really great for all wellness. Yeah, app overall wellness and, and top rated. Just take advantage of the reviews online to look at those. And also on, on an easy pay, we've got nine easy pay. That's actually elevated from our normal six that we have for Happy Healthy You. So $3 and change to get this home and try. And of course, the benefits that you get from the full size beam, you'll actually also get the benefit with the travel size. So I just want to show you the difference in sizing, okay? So here is the regular size beam. And then we've also got for you the travel version. So Becky, I mean, this is gonna be also one of those items that you will want to consider um, keeping around maybe in addition to the full size because you can actually use this at your home office or your outside office, right? Exactly, and the travel beam we made because the long one's just a little bit too long unless you're using it folded in a chair. This one won't flop over your head. And it's a great reminder when you're sitting at your computer to sit with proper posture. And as well as you can use it to stretch throughout the day. So if you're working away, you can go into those stretches right in your chair. You don't have to get on the floor. And on that, a lot of our viewers can't get up and down on the floor. So this is a great solution for somebody that just wants to use it in a chair. Yeah, and, and the, the travel beam is the firm density, correct? Yes, we find um, because you're using a chair, you don't have the same body weight on it. So you really do need the firm beam for that. So you can get into those knots, you can get a nice stretch because there's also a bit of give from the chair you're sitting in. This will help make up for the give from the whatever chair you're using. So even if you want to use it on the couch or a softer chair, it still has enough firmness to be able to get into those knots. In yeah, your back. I mean for three dollars and change, you can't get a massage therapist for that. You know, you can't get your partner to necessarily rub your back on demand, and and to just all you know obviously make you want to sit up straighter, but also improve the strength of your body without any weights. It's so genius, Becky. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. And you know, our theme today, of course, is health, healthy living without the sacrifice. And Nichelle, isn't this oh, just such an easy way to take care of yourself? You guys were making me want to get one and just relax here. On, on. <laughs> and it's a great reminder, too, about your posture. That is something like so many of us forget to do. So, yeah, it was very interesting. Yeah, you know, and I know for me, when I look at, at not sacrificing our fitness, you know, doing something that can be incorporated into our work routine. But even, you know, whether we're meditating, I just think it's just such a great way to sort of incorporate something so simple that can give you such a maximum impact, don't you? I, I absolutely agree. I always love to meditate and, you know, try and get at least a few moments into my day to kind of sneak away from the kids, meditate, have a nice bath, drink a nice tea, you know, <laughs> just I to know. relax. Who doesn't love a good herbal tea? Um, right. Michelle, we'll check in with you a little bit later. We're Sounds just, good. we're getting pre-